Hey YouTube, it's Nova Piper. I got some new tobacco the other day. Um, I didn't do a box opening or anything. But I got two blends in there I never tried before. So I'm going to do my first impressions on one of them. It's, uh, let's see here, Seattle Pipe Club Plum Pudding. Now, I've tried their um, Mississippi, uh, Missis no, Mississippi River, yeah, Seattle Pipe, Seattle Pipe Club's Mississippi River, and that's a, you know, Virginia-style tobacco. I'm not a big Virginia guy, I don't mind them, but it's really good, it's like, I really like that stuff. So I said, hey, I'll give it a try. Anyway, um, I'm just bringing up on tobacco reviews here, should have been more prepared. As you can see, winter is upon us now. Wonderful. This is what we have to go through. You know, when you live in this kind of climate, you want to smoke a pipe outside. This is what you deal with. I don't see the beauty in this shit, man. <laughs> you gotta shovel your driveway. It isn't so fun. Uh, an English Balkan, English Balkan blend like no other. Rare tobaccos crafted and pressed carefully together. Many pipe smokers say it's their perfect tobacco. Nirvana, said one reviewer. Master blender Joe Langford created this treasure for the Seattle Pipe Club. Our perfect tobacco. Delicious, smoky, spicy, and positively addictive. Truly an exquisite tobacco to share. Enjoy this original cake of six rare ingredients. Latakia joins with Turkish Orientals, Virginia's Cavendish and Perique, crafting the most sought-after small batch blends in America. And it's a crumble cake. Here's the, here's the can. Gear. Plum pudding. And it's a... Uh, well, you can smell the Latakia in there a little bit. And it's kind of thick loosely pressed chunks and some loose looser parts in there so it comes I've dried this out I like my tobacco dry um, yeah so anyway here she be a little snow on there um, my Eric Stockaby fourth generation how do you guys make uh, comment about this pipe and I gotta say it's a uh, wasn't quite sure at first but I really like this pipe it's it's great um, quarter bend in it it's fantastic it's got a, um, a fair size bowl on it too so first impressions here we go Sure, <clears throat> in there. Just lighten her up here. Soft a bit, a little slack there. Well, it's a uh, mild for me now. Um, I prefer really strong Latakia blends. I smoke heavy Latakia blends. Sam Gow with Balkan Mixers, one of my favorites now, 10 Russians. Um, Gowith and Hogarth blends, the Sam Gowith, you know, more of the heavier shit, Commonwealth. I'm smoking some of that. Um, Balkan Sassini, I'm really enjoying that. I'm not really a fan of that HH Latakia flake and stuff. I, you know, it's okay. Um, vintage Syrian, it's okay.
quite a bit going on here, actually. It's um, it's not what I would call Latakia forward. Well, that's my own opinion. Opinions do differ. Got a little bit of a zip to it. It's probably either, I think I read there's some Perique in it. I'm probably what you call a, a Perique lightweight. I think uh, I'm not a big fan of Black Cavendish, not Black Cavendish, uh, what do you call that? Dark Fire Kentucky. Don't like that stuff at all. So I can probably really detect the Perique pretty easily. It's where a lot of guys who aren't really um, guys who aren't used to um, Latakia blends would find what I smoke overpowering. With most tobaccos, when you first try them. It takes a few bowls before you can appreciate it. Oh yeah. I had to use up on my last vacation day of the year. My last video I was losing my shit because I was trying to get my mum moved in, so Bunny's in the bank, host sold yesterday. Mom's moved in. She said it's like she's been there her whole life. I feel like killing myself. I could kill her. I'm trying to get her, talk her into selling their house and moving in, you know, or getting another place for so long. And I'm not ready and all this shit right now. She's over there. She absolutely loves it. You know, so me and my buddy, we're very proud, especially my buddy, because he did a lot of work. He's really proud. That's good. She's on the other side of my duplex. Got the way she wants it. She's got her TV, you know, and all that. A little fake fireplace there. I got a fireplace, but we don't use it. Be dangerous. Don't want to spend the money to put in wood stoves and stuff. I got three cords of wood back here for crying out loud. Gotta do something with it. You can detect the Latakia, but you can also detect the Virginias in there. So it's um, this would be a mild. I would consider this a mild English. It's um, it's not really a, 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 a strong tobacco. Sort of like a medium in, medium in strength. The retro hail's not that you know powerful. I'm gonna probably uh, stop the video and come back further on here. smoker for about 20 minutes and come back. Okay, so I'm about halfway done. Change my camera angle here so you can get a little shot of our wintry goodness. Yay. Well, you know, can be beauty in it, I guess. So the sun was gleaming through it. I thought I'd use it as a backdrop there. So now I'm about halfway through. I got a bit of a gurgle going on. I'm a fast smoker. Good thing about this pipe. Jam a pipe cleaner in there, no problem. What I noticed is it's uh, burning great. I dry my tobacco out quite a bit, more than most people would. My tobacco won't clump. Now, the Latakia has really come through, where at first there was a whole bunch going on. It's um, The flavor has changed. It's not a bad thing. The flavor will change as you smoke any pipe. It's still pleasant. 
um, but you really can notice the Latakia a bit more. Um, now, I did read there is black Cavendish in here. Cavendish, I'm not really sure which one it was. And that always throws me off. Cavendish is a common component in aromatics because it holds flavoring very well. It also helps the tobacco burn a bit better. But in some of the blends I smoke, for instance, the 10 Russians, which is super potent, oily, greasy, you either love it or hate it. You know, it's strong Latakia. There's black Cavendish in that, and the Cavendish will actually add sweetness to your tobacco. So it's not that it's flavored. I detect no flavoring, and I didn't see anywhere in any of the reviews or what I've read that there's flavoring in this tobacco, but it does add a level of sweetness. But um, it's mellowed out a little bit. I can feel, I can feel the perique in there. And um, as far as the nicotine goes, I'm not feeling anything. In the nicotine, I'm quite a quite a lightweight when it comes to that. I'm just gonna break some of the ash off the top here. It's getting a little too compacted. I find with um, with the with these types of blends, any kind of crumble cake. And the tobacco is usually little pieces, so you gotta pack it a bit differently and it, it has the potential to clog. Kinda you gotta keep a pipe cleaner in there sometimes if you tamp too much. Now the the only other tobacco I've tried by Seattle Pipe Club, Mississippi River. There are similarities. Similarities, but probably because some of the components are common, where they both have Virginia in them. But you can really feel, and I say, I don't taste Perique, I feel it. I feel it in the retrohale. I can feel it there. I get that burning, that little tingling in the nose. The, the Latakia isn't a leathery or soapy Latakia, it's more smoky. You guys that smoke English blends know what I mean when I say these are words that I use, my own, these are my own words, my own terms. You know, you can only use words and terms that describe things that you're familiar with. Like how do you describe chocolate to somebody who's never eaten it, you know? So, um, some of the Latakia blends that I smoke are soapy, leathery, uh, creosote are words that I use. This has none of that. Uh, it's smoky. I don't detect a creosote taste like in 10 Russians. Um, there's none of that soapiness like you would get from Sam Gawith Balkan Flake or Gawith and Hogarth Balkan Mixture. Um, it's not really leathery, um, which I find with uh, Sam Gawith Balkan Flake. Um, definitely still retaining some sweetness and yeah. it's balanced quite well um, so you know final thoughts on this is this isn't really a review this is just my first impressions but let's put it this way now if I wanted to smoke an English blend if I, want, if I want a Latakia hit, I'm not going to go for this. The same as if I want to get a Virginia hit, I'm not going to go for a Mississippi River. They're unique. Um, it's more of a, you know, I'm not going to, you can taste the Latakia, you know, it's definitely in there. Mississippi River apparently has a bit of Latakia, but I don't detect it. It's more Virginia-based, but however, I, it's, it's not what I would call 
You know, it's not like Orlick. It's not like, uh, you know, pure Virginia or a, or a vapor or whatever. Now get close to the end. Towards the bottom, the ball has definitely got. It definitely has more. It's not getting bitter. It's not getting nasty. It's just more of the. You know, I gotta. Be, I can't push as much out of my nose because of that perique in there and get more of a tingle. But if I want to get a Latik, if I want to smoke Latakia, I'm not going to smoke this. Same as if I want Virginia, I'm not going to smoke Mississippi River. But it's a nice break in the pattern. You know, I'm going to try something a little different. If I'm in the mood for something that has some Latakia but not overpowering, I'll try. I'll smoke this. See, Mr. Mississippi River. I got three cans in there. Okay. But I'm an English smoker. This is good. This is this isn't bad. Anyway, that's my first impressions on. Uh, Plum Pudding by Seattle Pipe Club. Good stuff. Not bad. Not bad at all. Anyway, you guys take care. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, live life.